loves, it's Blona Celine and welcome back to my channel. So we are going to continue our decluttering and organization series that I started here on my YouTube channel. You guys already saw uh, how I decluttered and organized all of my clothes. It was insane. We did the bathroom, the kitchen, and we have this room left. I already did my makeup for this room. Um, I decluttered and got rid of so much makeup. I will have those videos in the description box below. That way you guys can keep up with my series. You guys have been loving them and telling me that you have also decluttered your house and it has motivated you to get more organized and you feel so much happier so that is awesome keep that up and today I'm going to be getting rid of a bunch of shoes and a lot of handbags or purses that I no longer use or wear and they're gonna go to a happier home I only want to keep the things that I absolutely wear 100% so yeah let's get started all right so the first thing that we're going to do is clean this glam room it is embarrassing to look at so we have to clean it first and then we're going to tackle those cases over there We're gonna bring everything out on the floor KonMari style so we can see what we want to keep and get rid of what we want to sell Anything that I sell will be in Mercari as always you guys know the deal that is where I resell um, all of my items I really like that app um, and then um, I'll show you guys a little update of what the glam room looks like because I do want to get it together because I'm going to be getting rid of this thing over here. I just got this insanely huge mirror that it's like over 100 pounds. No, it's not 100 pounds. I think it's like a little bit less than 100 pounds. But anyway, it's really big and obnoxious, but it's so beautiful. All right, so let me show you. So here is the mess that I need to get rid of. I gotta make sure there's no like underwear or like bras there, but there are some socks. It just looks crazy because I've been like trying to move things around the mirror that I ordered online I'll have a link down below for it and I had to get it as soon as the price went down because I have been eyeing this baby for over a month and it's been in my cart and I just couldn't get myself to buy it for the price that it was originally but as soon as it went on sale I had to get it it's so gorgeous look how gorgeous these wall decals are they're very customizable there I'm not done putting them up yet because I ordered some more I wanted some more of the white ones so you don't have to worry about damaging your walls which is the reason why I got this as opposed to wallpaper in order to prevent the mess from being everywhere especially when you bring out all your shoes and purses I'm gonna go ahead and just clear the floor space as well as the vanity that way whenever you're done putting everything away at the end there's a clean space and you don't have to worry about picking that up afterwards it's just so much easier if you pick up first and then you go ahead and bring all of your purses and all of your shoes out now you could do this in different categories I decided to do it all at once you could either like start off with shoes or start off with just purses depending on how many you have I honestly didn't think that I had that much because I have been really good with not buying like extra purses or shoes so I thought I was okay until I laid everything out so we are going to bring everything out of every single closet I've been reading this book that I mentioned in every single video it's called the life-changing magic of tidying up and it talks you through how to go about decluttering your house step by step the best strategy for decluttering is to declutter in categories instead of by room. So we are going to do person shoes and there's a lot of shoes that I still have in some closets downstairs. So instead of doing it by room and instead of decluttering that entire closet, I'm actually going to go downstairs, grab only the shoes and not worry about like the other closets, which we've already done in the past, but you want to stay focused on just a specific category. That way it's a lot easier to declutter and to get rid of and to keep and that way it's just more organized. The author also mentions not to declutter by picking things off the shelf whether you want to keep it or not. You want to do it on the floor when everything's laid out. For example, if there's a specific pair of shoes that I know 100% I'm going to keep, I'm still going to bring it down to the floor because if you leave anything on the shelves, it will defeat the purpose. We have to get the shoes and the purses out of every single place that you can possibly think of, including other places where you might store them or closets. This is a closet that it needs to be worked on, but I'm going to grab all of those shoes. There's even like a gym bag over there that I used to take with me when I used to go to the gym in the morning. Um, that's still considered a bag or a purse, so I have to bring that upstairs to decide whether I want to keep it or not. Because I might have doubles, I might have another gym bag that I could possibly use that I like better. Or that's more functional. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I can't believe these are all mine. And when you don't know you have them, you don't take very good care of them. We have another closet over here filled with my shoes. 
and Ricardo's. So we are going to take all the shoes that are mine out. And there's some in here that I didn't even realize that I had. So, regardless of the season, we're going, oh, I forgot I had these. I was looking for them. They were like in plain sight too. And I think all of these, they don't even, I don't even have a matching pair for these. Why are they here? See, you don't realize what you have and it's just clutter. Here is everything. When I see this, I'm like, <gasps> I can't believe how much crap I have. And then there is no turning back after this point and you just have to either get rid of it or put it all away and putting it all away is gonna suck. So you might as well just get rid of it, right? Now that the sun went down, I had to put up the lights. I got really hot bringing everything from downstairs up here, especially in the closets. And so I was like, I have to change out of that other shirt. It was really thick. If you feel like you can't do this and you can't declutter and you want someone to talk you through this process, hopefully this video helps. But if not, if you want someone to be like, hey there little slugger, if you need some help decluttering, I can help you change the way you think, that way you can declutter, then download the freaking book. Like honestly, it is so amazing how that book changes your mindset and the way that you think. Okay, so true story. I just helped my sister declutter her basement a few days ago. It was almost near impossible to get her to get rid of anything. And she had just stacks of things she hasn't used in years. She's like, she had very sentimental attachment to a lot of things. And just things that were very valuable. And she was like, it's a waste of money if I throw it away. Let me tell you what I did. I put on that book. And by the end of the night, three hours into decluttering, she was like, throw this away, throw this away, get rid of this, get rid of that, donate this. And it worked like magic. So if you guys really want that motivation, download that book. Like, I am not being paid to talk about it. To be honest, I heard so many people talk about it in their videos and on YouTube. And I was like, let me see what this book is about. Downloaded it, changed my life, got the second book because it was so good. And here I am. All right, so let's get into it. When it's like this, it could be really overwhelming and you have no idea where to start. Just grab yourself a bag. It doesn't have to be anything special. Pick up the first thing that you see and think whether you want to keep it or not. I'm going to be making different piles because some of these things I don't know if I can get rid of. But I'll show you guys my thinking process. Hi. Oh my poor baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to go through that. You can, you can sit next to me. Let's play some music. I did make several piles in order for it to help me. I made a pile for keeping, a pile for donating, a pile for discarding if the shoes weren't salvageable anymore or they were too worn out. And then I also was going to make a pile to resell things. But honestly, on the app, shoes don't really sell very well. So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to donate them instead. And that helped me out a lot because I also made a pile of things that I wasn't sure whether I was going to keep it or not. And then at the very end, I was able to decide. All right, so I've already made some progress. These are the shoes that I'm going to be keeping, and these are shoes that I absolutely love and I've been wearing them. If I haven't worn them in the past year, I'm getting rid of them. These are really great. I have some that are identical to this, except the heel's a little bit thicker, so I'm going to be getting rid of these. I love these. They're really nice. They were kind of expensive, not gonna lie, but the reason why I'm getting rid of these is because the heel is too bulky for me, and I'm not gonna wear these. I haven't worn them. I always tell myself that I am going to wear them, but I don't like the way they look. They make my feet look really bulky, so I'm getting rid of these. Okay, so these right here might look nice. I don't know why it's not picking up on the camera, but these look really worn out and I only wore them one time and I think it's the fabric the material that it's made out of there we go you could see them now as you can tell they look stained or they look like I don't know they look pretty bad I tried cleaning them and nothing works they just look really worn out I wore them one time these are too bulky so I got rid of those I have some shoes that are identical to this almost um, not exactly kind of similar but I always say that I'm going to wear them I never do these are just a little bit worn out and then these are very uncomfortable so are these these are not my style anymore so i'm getting rid of them these are gorgeous i only wore them in like 
photo shoots or in videos and I love them. I really do, but I never wear them. And I think it's because the heel is too high. These over here are too small. I don't know why I didn't realize that I got an eight instead of an eight and a half. So they are literally brand new with the tag still on. Um, they weren't that expensive. They were only $16 from Ross, so I'm just going to be getting rid of those. I never wear these over here. I always tell myself once again that I'm going to wear them and I never do, so we're getting rid of those. I started running out of space and I started to shift them over and then with the second time that I actually picked them up, it helped me make a better decision whether I wanted to keep it or not. And I was able to get rid of a few more that I knew I wasn't going to wear that I just liked, including two different pairs of slippers that I had. Honestly, I barely wear one pair so why have two? So I was like, I'm just going to keep the ones that are in better shape and that way I can get rid of another right. one. So this is the progress that I've been doing so far. I'm donating these. These are really pretty and I wore them on a trip and I really like them but they hurt my toes like right here because they're so heavy and they kind of like scratch the sides up so I was like you know what I never wear them because they're uncomfortable so I'm not going to take those I got rid of those boots these are so cute they really are but I just feel like I didn't wear them at all during the winter um, so I'm like you know what I'm just gonna get rid of them they're really cute but they're extremely hot and if you're already wearing a down feather coat and you're wearing some boots like it can be really hot and the water seeps through these because they're made out of like a thinner material so I was like you know what I have to get rid of those these I kind of just grew out of they're so cute and I love the polka dots and the bows and they're really really cute and in great condition but I never wore them because I feel like my style has changed a lot and I don't wear these so I'm not going to be wearing those I still need some snowshoes though so these are the ones that I wore a lot last year and they're really comfortable they're made out of suede so it, the snow is not going to seep through as much and so that's why I'm going to keep those I'm gonna keep all of these boots I love my Tory Burch boots they're my favorite kind these are my favorite Tory Burch boots ever my favorite style that I've ever worn but I've worn them for so long look how bad they are on the sides and I don't know what to do can someone please like give me any tips on how to take care of this? Is there a way that I can cover that up? Or anything that I could possibly do to save these boots because I love them so much. Once I was completely done with the shoes, I moved on to the purses and I took the opportunity to be able to clean everything out of these in case I was donating them or selling them. There wasn't anything left inside. I even found some cash, which made me so excited because I had a few extra dollars inside of my purse and I was like, hey, this is like extra money that I didn't even know that I had. So it's nice to be able to just clean them all out and then get rid of everything that you don't want. Getting rid of purses was a lot more difficult than I thought because because usually I get them for special occasions like my birthday or for Christmas and it's rare that I just go out and buy a purse so a lot of these were super super important and special to me and this was like the hardest thing ever I feel like shoes weren't that hard to get rid of but purses are just like a whole different thing so I'm glad I left that at the end because by this time you're kind of tired you kind of just want to finish and you want to get through it as fast as possible so I was like okay like right now is when I have to either decide to keep it or let it go to a better home someone who's going to love and nurture the purse and actually get a good use out of it that's the way that I like to think about it um, I want to show you guys some strategies when it comes to storing so in here I have all of my purses that I travel with the book bag and that little bag that you saw is from Parkland they have recycled material purses and bags which I highly recommend for you guys to check out I'll have them in the description box below they send them to me as a gift and they asked me if I wanted to share them with you guys and I thought the whole concept of using recycled material was awesome so I want to share it with you guys and then all of my dust bags I put inside of this other purse which helped keep its shape that's also a really great way to help your purses maintain their shape and then with this purse it had a matching wallet so I just put the matching wallet inside of there that way whenever I'm using it I can decide to wear the wallet as well or not and then I put up all of my little wallets inside of another purse because it was also losing its shape so I thought it would be great not only to store things but also maintain the shape of the purse so I'm doing that with several purses. All right, so here's another update. I am keeping all of that over here and I am going to be either selling or donating these. I'm going to be selling this one on Mercari. It's funny because I actually bought this off Mercari and I'm going to be selling it back on the app. Um, so I'm gonna be selling this one. I am probably gonna be selling this one too. 
I have one very similar to this in color, not in style, but it is a Rebecca Minkoff. It's this one right here, and I noticed that I use this one a lot more because of the color, especially for fall. It's just so pretty and cute. I'm also going to be selling this one on Mercari. Um, I do have a code if you guys want to use it. That way you guys can get a $10 credit on the app, and then whenever you refer your friends, you'll get a $10 credit for them, and I think you get $2 for yourself. Um, and then this one right here, it's really pretty, but I never use it because it's so skinny and then this one I'm just going to donate this one I'm also going to sell it's from Kate Spade I love this color so much but I honestly just don't use them so this is the progress we've made I'm keeping all of those shoes which is like half of the amounts that I had and then over here I have my purses and then over here is what I'm donating and what I'm selling so I made all these donation piles and then this is what I'm selling A lot of the time something that holds someone back from decluttering is a storage solution for putting it all back and organizing it once you are done. But honestly, once you are done decluttering, you're going to have so many less things to worry about putting back. So don't worry about a storage solution for it because you'll most likely not even need it once you are complete done. And then you will be able to look at everything in plain view and not forget about the things that you have stored away in a closet or in a storage bin. Once everything was put away, I took the opportunity to clean some of my boots because they needed some TLC. And this right here is a magic eraser which I use to clean suede. It's really great. All you have to do is kind of brush it off and whatever it is on there will come off. And then for my boots, I used a saddle soap to take off any dirt and any salt from the winter and then use a conditioning treatment to condition the leather. So that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a a big thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you guys in my next video which is this so